What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here, and today we're taking a look at the Ibanez BTB Iron Label Base. Now before we continue, let me tell you that Ibanez Germany sent me this base to test for video, but all the thoughts and opinions and everything that you hear in this video are my own. Now, like all the other instruments on the Iron Label series, this base, the BTB, was an instrument or is an instrument made for metal, you know, <laughs> stealth black, black hardware, black fingerboard, everything black. This is a metal machine. <laughs> That's what it was designed to be. And as you could hear in the intro clip, it definitely does the job. But I'm going to talk about that in a minute. First, let's take a look at the specs. Here we have two body wings made out of okoume, and I'm saying body wings because the bass is a neck through instrument. You can see a transition of the neck into the body here, which is very comfortable. And the core of the body and the neck is made out of five pieces of maple and walnut. We have 24 medium stainless steel frets with a zero fret and a 47 millimeter with a the nut. The fretboard is made out of ebonol, which is a synthetic material made out of black paper and phenolic resin, and it gives the instrument a tight and brighter sound compared to some other woods. For the hardware, we've got the Ibanez MR5 bridge with 19 mm spacing, and we've got black control knobs and Goto style black tuning keys. For the electronics, we've got two Bartolini BH2 pickups and the Ibanez custom 3-band EQ with a variable mid-selector. We also have a Neutrik or Neutrik jack connector. And as you can probably tell, this is an all-black instrument. But it is a satin finish instrument, which means that it's very smooth to the touch, including the neck. So you don't have to worry about having your thumb, you know, stuck at one position because making transitions here is very, very easy. Now let's check out some sound samples of fingerstyle, pick and slap playing. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can get many different sounds depending on the playing style that you use together with the EQ on the bass. But if you've been wondering why it sounds quite a bit different than the intro track that I recorded, well, there I had some distortion happening because it is a metal track. You're probably gonna use distortion with a metal bass anyway. But the pickups themselves and the sound of the bass are somewhat dark. It has a rolled off top end and I believe that's cause of the Bartolini pickups. Now I've played other basses and also other Ibanez basses that come with the Bartolini pickups and most of the time I felt that they were kind of dark sounding, like the treble had a roll off and this bass, when, if you've watched my unboxing video, I'm gonna put a card here, um, I think it re responds very nicely to the way you attack the strings because if you really dig in, you know, really make the strings bounce or pick hard or slap the bass, because it, it has a bit of treble removed on the top end, it doesn't sound that harsh, it, it has a nice err, uh, it has a nice growl there, but it is not as bright as some other basses that might have other pickups or different electronics. So that is something to keep in mind if you plug in and you play and it sounds kind of dark. I believe that is because of the Bartolini pickups and you might like that, you might not like that, it depends on your taste and how you play, but if you feel like it's a bit dark, I think a pickup upgrade could solve that problem. Now, there are a couple of things that I really like about this bass. The first one is that it came with a great action right out of the box. It's easy to play, it is comfortable, you don't have to fight the instrument, not in the uh, you know lower positions. It came set up great right out of the box. The other thing is the way they've designed the bass, and I think this applies to all the BTB basses, but it's had, it has some contours here here as well, of course, on the back, the neck transition, the tummy cut, and you know the, the length of the horn. All those things make it so that it is a comfortable bass to play, especially considering that it's a 35 inch scale bass and a five string. Those are things that I'm not used to personally because I mainly play four string basses, but it is comfortable to play and it doesn't feel like a big stretch so I don't feel like I have to like really uh, stretch my hand or fight the instrument. It is super comfortable to play. It does feel a bit longer or you do feel like it is a longer scale, um, but it's not like, like I mentioned, it's not like you're fighting the instrument or really stretching to, to get to certain notes, which I really appreciate because I don't have huge hands. Now, the other thing that I really like, and this is something that I didn't expect to like that much, is, and like I mentioned at the beginning, the neck is finished, you know, you have a, a finished black neck. And I was a bit scared about it being too sticky, but this one is probably the most comfortable Ibanez neck that I've played. It is super smooth. Moving up and down the neck is extremely easy and comfortable, so I think that's very fitting and appropriate considering that this is a metal bass and you have to like move around pretty fast and play intricate lines, so prop to Ibanez for that. The other thing that I really like as well is the fact that the bass has stainless steel frets which last longer than nickel. Some people say they sound different, I haven't compared them side by side, but Considering that you're gonna be smashing the frets because you're playing metal probably most of the time, I think it's a great great decision by Ibanez to include stainless steel frets. And also the zero fret is also a great idea, especially for metal, because a lot of times you're you're banging on the open string. And by having the zero fret, you make that string sound closer to a fretted note, which is pretty nice. And I think that's the factor or one big influence why the open string on this bay, bass really growl, it sounds like mean, uh, and I really, really like that. However, there are a couple of features that I feel could be a bit different or maybe use some different components. 
like I mentioned previously, the Bartolini pickups are somewhat dark, and even though you can make them work in a mix and they sound good, like you heard on the intro track, most modern metal bases nowadays use different kind of pickups, some more brighter alternatives. So I think that at least offering one version with a different set of pickups could be pretty cool. So you don't you're not stuck with the Bortolinis only. Uh, because I think that's something that some people complain about, that they sound pretty dark and they require some EQing to get them to sound the way they want to. Um, some people like them, some don't, but I think at least offering the option, especially considering now that Ibanez offers more bases with Nordstrand pickups, for example, I think that that could be really cool. Similar to that, the bass is always in active mode. There is no active passive switch. And for some people that's fine. I've had batteries die on me mid-show and they were fresh batteries. So at least having the option of a passive uh, knob or passive switch, that could be a lifesaver. And I mean, you can install it yourself if you want, right? But I think having it directly from the factory could be a pretty cool option. And also something that someone mentioned in a, in a previous video on the unboxing video of the base was that Ivan has just painted the base black <laughs> and called it a new series, you know, the Iron Label series. Um, I don't know how much that is true because, I, like I mentioned, I really like the satin finish neck. It's like super comfortable to play. But adding some extra features maybe to, to this base, calling the Iron Label series a base designed for metal, Maybe you could add, for example, a dark glass tone capsule preamp, for example, instead of the Ibanez custom three band that they use in most of their bases. Having that extra option that's different, I think that could be a great incentive to get this base instead of other ones. Um, and, you know, separate it a bit more and make it more special, so to speak. But other than that, I think this is a killer instrument for the price, especially amazing bass, easy to play. Um, it balances well, so let me show you. I'm gonna grab strap. No neck dive. It stays in place. Really comfortable. So if you liked the Iron Label BTB, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to learn more about it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.